At Gowan Science Academy, we live very close to the international border, and so it's very important to us that our students have the same opportunities as students that live in an affluent metropolitan area. Our motto is learning without limits, and we really look for ways to break down barriers and make sure our students really are learning without any limits. With that, we had to look for spaces around our campus that would be utilizable for everybody. And one thing that we didn't have when we moved to our new campus was an official library. And we were asked very quickly if we should build a library and our teacher said, absolutely not. We want our kids to be able to hold and touch and feel and read books all day long. And so what better use of empty hallway space than to put a school library. So our hallways are lined with floating bookshelves and those bookshelves are filled with books and our librarian actually lives in the hallways and a student can get a new book every single day and be able to read as many books as they can in a year. I think that the idea behind having the books accessible, having the kids be able to see them and touch them and be around them, I think that that's really gonna help promote reading and I think it makes it super exciting for them. It's a wonderful, concept and I, I really wish I would have had that growing up. It was incredible. Through the pandemic, oftentimes mom and dad were at work and so students were essentially learning solo. And so we knew that when we returned to school that social emotional learning was going to be critical. We know that when a student's feeling very anxious or very angry, they can't learn. And our job here at school is to help students learn. And so if we can't help students regulate their emotions, then we can't help them learn. In kindergarten through second grade, we have our calming tents within each classroom. And what that looks like is each classroom has their own special corner with a tent that the kids fit inside. They only go in one at a time. And while they're in there, they have some special toys, a stuffed animal, some squishy friends, a timer, just some things to kind of help them check in with those regulation tools and coping mechanisms and take a little break before they're ready to head back to class. So this is the common corner and what we use it for is about um, if we're feeling emotional, like if we're sad, if we're angry, or if we're like really mad like or sad like about your feelings and stuff. We also have two calming corners that are available to our older students. So we have a space for our third through fifth grade students and a space for our sixth through eighth grade students. Those common corners are, of course, larger because our bigger students need more space to spread out and relax. But a lot of the same tools are there, as well as um, motivational tool cards and books, just opportunities for them to have what they need in the moment to regulate. For me, it's like I just put all my strong emotions in a bubble, in like a balloon, and then I just let it go and the strong emotions just go away. It makes me feel like better, like a break from the class and like all the learning and stuff. And like, instead of crying in front of your peers, it's like, instead you could do it here. I think eventually this is not something that everyone's supposed to rely on on a daily thing, but it does help for every once in a while thing. It's like a, it's like a save me thing if you're feeling too stressed and you're not able to handle what's happening. I think that our adoption of the zones of regulation and our calming corners is so important because we had kids coming back from the pandemic with so many emotions. Not having peers to interact with every day. We had students who were having outbursts in class because it was just so noisy and it was so many people and transitioning back was just a lot for them. So giving them the opportunity to go take a break when they are feeling those strong emotions has been such a great way for us to say, we see you, we hear you, and we're here to support you with that. So with any new initiative, we have to have results. We can't just create something and then not measure the success of it. We have seen decreased absenteeism, which was really important because the pandemic really increased absenteeism tenfold. And so when we host outdoor activities and we get kids outside, especially in the learning classroom outside, as well as in the library outside, they want to be here. They know learning's fun. They know every day is different and they don't want to miss a day because they might miss out on some really fun activity. And so with that, uh, we partnered with A for Arizona to create some outdoor learning spaces that also give us more square footage on our campus. They allow for our students to have different opportunities to learn and different spaces to learn in. 
teachers utilize our outdoor classroom in a variety of ways. Uh, they use it for lessons that they may not be able to do inside of a classroom as successfully. Our science classrooms utilize that. We do some chemical um, needs that need some ventilation. It's a great space to do that in. Our math teacher utilizes it. Our outdoor library, they love the fact that they can get a book at recess and they don't have to, to wait. I think the outside library is next level. To me, the library was always something that um, was kind of sacred and like inaccessible and it was really only like certain times that I could be around it. To just see my daughters just be able to have the opportunity to kind of be there when they're at recess and to be able to be around, you know, books and have sort of a lounging area for it is incredible. Um, it's something I wish I would have had um, growing up and I'm really, really grateful that my children have the opportunity to be a part of it. If I were to talk to another principal, the number one thing I would do is get a team together and probably your whole team and create a vision. What do you want your school to be? What do you value? What makes sense to your team? And then from there, create it and make sure that there is no obstacle too big. Find a path and make it happen for your students and for your teachers. And so you want staff to really want to be in these spaces. And so talking to them, getting book recommendations from them for the hallways as well as for the outdoor library and really showing them the results of our social emotional learning with our calming corners and them seeing like, wow, this really does help me in the classroom because when my students are in that green zone, they're all learning and it, it takes out some of those obstacles that teachers could normally have in a regular classroom um, with behaviors or students with extreme emotion. And so this really brings our whole team together and we're all in this together and we're here to support kids. I think what's important as a principal that is looking at space utilization is to just really use your eyes, look, at, look through your school and look at each space and how it really can be utilized, not with exactly how it is being utilized. So um, you have to visualize what a corner would look like with a calming corner in it, or what would it look like if we put a bookshelf right there? So really looking at your campus as a place for students to be and learn versus just uh, a building full of classrooms.